It is early morning in Kigali, Rwanda, and I could really go for a cup of coffee. This is even one of the great coffee growing regions, but they drink tea here, so I'm probably not going to find any coffee. came in and started the work with Michigan State was it what was what got in the way well the coffee's been grown here for many many years for generations and and uh, what didn't happen here uh, is that there was you know no higher end fully washed specialty coffee uh, and very few higher higher end buyers partly that was because specialty coffee did not really take off until oh in the let's say late 80s early 90s right. With specialty coffee, though, the taste profiles become very important, and your your high-end buyers across across the U.S., Europe, Japan, they're all looking for for the, the those top varieties. They want all the good stuff. It's not they want the good stuff. Yeah, anymore. yeah. So if you're going to sell coffee for five dollars or more a cup, it needs to be a very good cup of coffee, and and that's what you get in Rwanda. No coffee market here, but you grow coffee in Rwanda. Yeah, we you grow very good coffee. Very good. And, they, and they keep telling me I'll, I'll eventually get a cup of it, but I, I have my doubts. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, uh, what? And obviously there are Spartans everywhere, including Jaredine Mukishimana, who is a Spartan, but now you are the Minister of Agriculture for Rwanda. Well, we are known all over the world that we are producing good quality coffees, but we cannot supply consist or consistently enough amount that the world needs. So it's important that we invest into increasing the amount of production. Part of that reconstruction and post-genocide uh, period is what can we do to help build the economy? Coffee. Uh, being Rwanda's most important export is in a prime position to really contribute to growth. And for me as an agricultural economist, I start thinking about the market, I think about the income to be generated, and how exactly farmers will benefit from this. So now, so you, you, you and the folks that you've worked with have helped get it up there so people want it, and now they can't get enough. Now they can't get enough of it. We tend to like Rwandan coffees very much. They have a special taste. I believe it was 2004 when we were approached by Michigan State with the Rwandan coffee, and we decided to bring it in. And since then, we have been buying on a yearly basis. I think it's probably true that, that growth of Rwanda coffee and, and that relationship that Paramount has is good for Lansing, Michigan. This is, a, this is a program that people know about, and now there are a lot of coffee consumers who are seeking out higher quality coffees, in particular uh, coffees uh, from Rwanda. Uh, finally. That's good. 